giving up. Don't say tomorrow. Nothing is impossible. Just do it. Hello, my friends. I'm glad to see you. Don't be bored today. I think this video a bit motivates you to lead a healthy lifestyle. And today we'll speak about sport and its impact on our life. So, let's start. How do you see? Why should people do sports? Have you any ideas? So, sport helps to keep fit and be healthy. It teaches to be strong, fast and patient. It teaches to win and to lose. It teaches to be disciplined. It gives fun and pleasure. It teaches to overcome difficulties. It helps to make new friends and promotes a healthy lifestyle. And now I offer you to do the task one. Let's check if you are sporty and fit enough or you should do the sport right now. So, answer the following questions, yes or no. Then count only yes answers and then we'll check your results. Well done! What are your results? Let's check. If you have 10 14 points, great! You are sporty and fit. If you have 6 9 points, not bad, you are quite fit. And if you have 5 or less points, do more exercise. Sport is fun. Before you make your choice what sport start doing, let's do task 2. You should revise sports vocabulary. Let's play game Guess the Sport. So, I offer you to watch the video with kinds of sport and guess what kind of sport it is. If you need, you can write these words into your vocabularies. job let's move on and do the task three have you ever paid attention that some sports we play some sports we do and others we go and i offer you to listen some information to use these words correctly play it is used with ball sports and competitive games where you play against another person. For example, play soccer, play tennis, play chess. Do. It is used for recreational activities and non-team sport. Remember, you don't use a ball. For example, do gymnastics, do karate, do athletics. Go. 
It is often used with activities that end with ing. You go somewhere to do something. For example, go fishing, go skiing, go swimming. Is everything clear? If yes, let's do exercise. Two, page eight in your prepare six workbooks. You should complete the table with the sports in exercise one. Good luck! Now I think you are ready to do the task four. You should watch the video where children are talking about their favorite kind of sports. So, use your copy books and write down what sport it is and why do they like it. If you need, you can watch this video again. Great you are! And the last task for today will be to write about your favorite sport. So, let's make a poster where you should write about your favorite kind of sport, stick some photos or draw some pictures. Also, you can use some phrases or sentences. It's quite time to say you goodbye. I think this lesson was informative, interesting and a bit motivating. If you have some questions, you can contact me using my phone number or my email or my Viber. See you at the lesson. Bye-bye!